Hello, 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 friends. Welcome back to another poetry lesson. We are talking about the sense of hearing this week, and we are reading a poem called All Around Sounds. Before we jump back into our poem, do you remember in our last lesson how we traveled to the quiet room and we practiced sorting quiet sounds and loud sounds? Well, before we start today, I would like to practice our five senses using a quiet voice and a loud voice. Do you remember our five senses song? Let's practice singing it together. First, we'll practice with a quiet voice and make a quiet sound. Here we go. There are five, there are five. Five senses, one, two, three, four, five. There are five, there are five. Five senses, one, two, three, four, five. Let's try loud, making a loud sound. There are five. and how we can use who, what, and where to form a great complete sentence. So let's start with our poem and then we'll move on to our sentence activity. Here we go. All around sounds. Beep, says the red truck driving on by. Tweet, says the blue bird flying up high. Quack, says the yellow duck out on the lake. Crunch, says the orange leaf under the rake. Ribbit, says the green frog up on a rock. Woof, says the brown dog out on his walk. Friends, I loved reading that. I especially love the rhyming words. It gives poems such a beautiful sing-songy sound. By, high, lake, rake, rock, and walk. Those are rhyming word pairs. We also saw a pattern of color words. Red, blue, yellow, orange, green, and brown. Those are great descriptors to make our sentences interesting and descriptive. So today we're going to be talking a little bit about sentences and how we can make a sentence using the questions who, what, and where. Let's look at an example here. Ellie sees fish in the ocean. Who sees fish? Ellie. Ellie does what? She sees fish. Where? In the ocean. So when we ask ourselves who, what, and where, we can make a full complete sentence. Ellie sees fish in the ocean. Let's practice with a couple more. Trevor hears quacking at the park. Who is our sentence about? Can you point? Trevor, that's right. Trevor is our who. He is the person we are writing about. Does what? Trevor does what? Here's quacking or at the park. Yeah, Trevor hears quacking. That's the next part of our sentence. Trevor hears quacking. Where? Where does he hear quacking? He hears quacking 
at the park. Let's see if we made a complete sentence. Trevor hears quacking at the park. Yay! Let's try with one more example. Our next example is about a little girl named Amira. Amira tastes an apple at the orchard. Now, to make this sentence, we need a who, a what, and a where. So, who tastes the apple? Amira. Amira does what? She tastes an apple. Where? At the orchard. Now we have a complete descriptive sentence. Who does what where? Who, Amira, does what? Tastes an apple. Where? At the orchard. Amira tastes an apple at the orchard. Friends, thank you so much for helping me learn about the patterns of sentences and the patterns in our poem. We will see you later this week to learn more about our five sentences and to read and discover together. Bye-bye.